So here's something we may take for granted. A birthday party can be the highlight of a kid's entire year. Yet many in Tampa Bay will go without one in 2020. But there's a local nonprofit that's trying to change that. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis back on the road with a pair of friends about to cross a celebration milestone. Birthdays are milestones. Another year down, another reason to celebrate. Birthday to you. These words, happy birthday, is about them on their special day. Belinda Leto has spent the last year celebrating kids all over Tampa Bay. We never expected in a million years that this was even a, a situation or a problem. Belinda and longtime friend Selena Saunders started a nonprofit called Celebrate Birthdays in 2019, raising money then throwing parties for kids who would otherwise never get one. So we started off in one boys and girls club and the need just kind of grew and grew and grew and we were like, we need to do something about this. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed the way we do birthdays, but it's also increased the need for so many people. Belinda and Selena started doing birthdays in a box all the necessities dropped off at your door. So just the birthday in a box is alone. Our very first month was like 21, and then it was 40, and this month we're well over 100 now. Um, and we're actually getting ready this month of August to celebrate our thousandth birthday child that we've celebrated. So we're very excited about that. Could you have thought a year ago that you'd be doing a thousandth birthday party for kids? No, not even a fathom that we would do that. We just wanted to make sure that every kid got a birthday. And we thought, OK, well, if we give a couple of kids a birthday, this will be amazing. And so, yeah, just to know that this is such a need out here. And yeah, it blows our mind, literally. Anybody else do the cha-cha-cha in between? I love when she did that in the song. You know, Celebrating Birthdays and Celebrate Birthdays plans to launch a new program this fall to get birthday parties going in classrooms for low-income schools. If you